Hi everybody, welcome to Fast Home Brew. It is time for tasting day number oh, 20, and this is the result of my crystal malt experiment thing that I did. Now, straight off the bat, I'm a little worried because of this. Yep, some of them are a bit over carbonated, so I'm not sure what I'm going to get with these bottles, but we'll see. So here they all are, um, and I guess I'll open up the first one here, and it's, well, it's foaming over a little bit, but that's not too bad not as bad as those plastic bottles anyway because you see um uh oh, actually i should tell you what's what first so that first one is the control one which is just ale second is light crystal that was medium this is dark crystal this one's caramel and the last one is caramunic so we've got um just ale light medium dark crystal caramel and caramunic now i will confess i recorded this footage a couple of weeks ago and I was thinking about what I would say and I'm sure that I had a lot of good points to make while I did it but I have no idea what those were now so I'm just going to basically talk over the top while I fiddle around with beer in the background. So what was I saying? Yes, bottling it was hard. That's why this guy here is a bit hazy. It's because I figured out that you can't tip it because uh, remember bottling out of orange juice containers. You can't tip it back while you're doing that or you end up with a whole bunch of haze in it. But the rest of them are pretty clear, so that was fine. Okay, so the Light Crystal, the Caramalt, and the Caramunic all tasted very similar. There was not much difference in between them at all. Um, and I guess that surprised me a little bit, actually. Um, so they were all very sweet. I probably should have had some more bitterness in there. I think I am for around... 20 IBUs, I can't remember exactly, but probably could have done with a bit more there. Um, and I was using Magnum, so it's a very neutral hop anyway, so that wasn't adding anything to it. But yeah, the um, the one on the left is essentially a Magnum uh, base malt smash, which actually turned out, it, it is actually pretty nice, and it was my favorite of all of them. Um, as I said, the others were pretty sweet. The crystal one tasted kind of caramelly, uh, the light crystal that is then the medium and dark crystals were just kind of a little bit more of the same but more intense so I guess that was to be expected oh look at me how smart am I I've got a, a big thing of water to cleanse my palate because I'm all about professionalism yes I am all right so anyway what am I rambling on about uh, the caramel one uh, was a little drier than the light crystal. I said they were all very similar, but that one was somehow a little drier. And the Cara Munich was more Munich-y, if that makes any sense. Um, it does to me because I once made a Munich smash and I know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you haven't done that, I don't recommend it, but whatever, <laughs> have a good time. Anyway, what am I doing here? Tapping my fingers and I'm picking out, oh, my favorite. Yep, that one was actually my favorite, the base one, as I said, I think I said, if not, I've said now. Uh, but if we exclude that one, my actual favorite was probably this guy, the Cara Malt one, which was um, just a little bit nicer than the others. But I'm not about favorites here, I'm about learning about all the different ones. So um, there's Max. What's he doing? Come over here, Max. You're a good dog. Okay, so what's next? Now I'm looking at all of them, and what am I going to do? Have a little bit of each. They were all worth doing. As I said, they were surprisingly similar, but. Um, yeah, the, I mean, the dark one was really sweet and great, but I'm all done by the looks of those thumbs. So, thanks for watching the video. I am definitely going to redo this experiment with maybe a few more uh, po more extreme malts, maybe. Can you put it that way? I don't know. But also, I'm thinking of doing one with different hopping rates, with dry hopping grounds for later. So, anyway, stay tuned. Thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe. And thanks for putting up with me just rambling every week or so.